Okay, so this category I'm going to call lighter pinks, dusty pinks, but on the lighter side. And I think everything here pretty much fits into that category, at least I'm hoping. So we'll start with Robert Oster Cherry Blossom. And I have had this inked up and it was pleasant. I do remember it being a little bit on the dry side, not too horribly dry, but drier than some inks. But seriously beautiful. This is one of my favorite colors um, in general, <laughs> and I certainly do love it in inks as well. So then we have Robert Oster, uh, Robert Oster Dusky Pink, which to me, I remember it being very similar to Cherry Blossom. I also had this inked up and it was also pleasant. Again, a little bit on the drier side from what I can recall, um, but beautiful still. Yeah, so this one has a little bit more of a rosy kind of vibe, but they are very, very similar. I hear people yelling outside. That's fun. <laughs> the show must go on. Yeah, so definitely lighter, um, but in the pen, I remember them being very similar and definitely pinker. Oh, on camera, this one's looking a lot more brown than this one, but in person, they're not looking that dissimilar. Um, but maybe as they dry, they will reveal some differences. But I do remember in the pen, they were not that different, so interesting. Next, we have Birmingham Pen Company Chrysanthemum. This was a pen friend sample trade and I have not tried this yet in a pen. I have struggled to find pens that work well with the Birmingham Pen Company lighter colors. With the darker, more saturated colors, I haven't had an issue, but with the lighter colors, it tends to seem harder to find a pen that like really showcases the ink and gets it to be saturated enough on the page so I really like this color and I'm excited to hopefully experiment with different pens to find a good one let me know if you guys have this color or one similar to it from Birmingham and what you have it inked up in because I just I just hate it when I have a pretty ink and I can't really see it when chrysanthemum. <laughs> I can't really see it when I'm writing with it. Like I want to see it on the page. So this is initially going down like very gray pink and then as it dries, it dries to a more pinkish color. Really pretty color. <clears throat> I also want to start using my fountain pen inks more to like decorate my pages, you know, as like either a wash of color behind, um, like in the background or some kind of like flower, watercolor flowers like Karina Loves to Plan does. Those are so beautiful and I would love to do that. This one is Van Diemen's Feline Series, the Bengal Tiger Blaze. This is so pretty and it's like, darn it, I just put up a drop of water. It's like a light, really light, peachy pink base with a lot of gold shimmer. And I have not inked this up yet, but I would love to soon because it's so pretty. Look at that. It reminds me kind of of brunch date. I should put brunch date next to it here. 
um, like the base color of it and then just all that gorgeous shimmer but it is pretty light when you write with it with a pen because I have tried it with a pen nib okay so van demons feline and this is Bengal tiger blaze and yeah in the pen nib that I tried it in it was like this really really light peachy color which is beautiful but like I said I like it to be very legible when I'm writing with it All right, next we have Colorverse C Europa. I have used this to combine into a lot of inks. I think I tried to ink it up once when I first got it and it was just too light, at least in the pen that I had tried it in. I remember it just being too light, so I didn't love it. Um, but I really have to retry all the inks that I tried back in the beginning of my journey because I don't think I really knew what I was doing at that point. Oh, this actually looks a lot like that. It's like Lady Rose too, I think. We're gonna do that one next, so we'll see. But let me add a little bit more here. Um, just this tone is so gorgeous. I love this tone of ink color. So pretty. Yeah, that looks like a lot like the Van Diemen's one. And I don't have much left, unfortunately. I might have to get another sample. But in blending it with other inks to make new colors, it has been really good. Um, these lighter colors do well to help like lighten up a color that you have that's too dark or if you want the color to be lighter. This works well for that. So pretty. All right, next we have Lady Rose. And again, I think I had this inked up for like a second, but it was too light. So I need to find something that I can combine this with to make it darker and more what I want and ink to be. I just really want to be able to see the color. Even if it's a light color, like this color is beautiful and it's light and that's fine. And if it went down this color that's like brown and, you know, legible, that would be fine with me. But it in pens, it's just way too light. Oh, such a gorgeous color that is too. So that's definitely more brown. So tell me what pen to put this in so that it looks saturated and visible. But it's so beautiful though, right? Like it's just so pretty. Maybe if I added like a touch of a darker brown or a touch of like a shimmer something that would just make it a bit more legible, that would be cool. Yeah, cause like I think it like goes down like this and it just also has like a watery consistency. So help me guys, tell me what to do to make it work. All right, so lastly, we have Colorverse Brunch Date. Really pretty peachy pinky color. I still really want to try Urban's uh, Rui de Onc because everyone says it's like this. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. I should try inking this up again. It's been a long time since I tried it and I I think I just didn't like it because it was too light but maybe if I tried it now I would love it so so pretty all right so those are all of these let's let these dry and I will be back and we will look at them alrighty so everything is pretty much dry and these are so gorgeous I'm really tempted to put a little bit of this one in all three of these. <laughs> the C Europa is darker than I remember. Um, and yeah, I really want to give these three a try again because it's been a long time and they're just so beautiful. All of these are so beautiful. This page is like my jam. 
Um, so looking at Cherry Blossom and Dusky Pink, they are a lot more different when they're dry than they looked similar when they were wet. Uh, the Dusky Pink is definitely more pink and the Cherry Blossom definitely has some darker purple tones in it. However, I still think in pens, they're probably just as similar as I remember them being. I guess it depends on what kind of pen you have it in, but either way, they're both gorgeous. They both have some shading. They both have some like dark outlines around their shading. Then we have Chrysanthemum and it's so crazy. I can never get Birmingham inks to look the way they look to my eye on camera. In person, this looks pink, 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 pink. On camera, it's obviously like it looks gray brown. I wish that I could like somehow get it to pick up the real color, but this writing looks more like cherry blossom than it does what it looks like here. So that's crazy to me how they never really show up with their accurate color on camera. So sorry about that one. Then we have Bengal Tiger Blaze, which is so gorgeous. That shimmer just sends me. <laughs> it's really beautiful. But in the writing itself, you can see this is very, very light, which is what I experienced when I used it in a regular nib. And also you can see the shimmer in the writing in person. I don't know if you can see that. It's picking it up like in there a little bit, but it's not obvious in the writing that is that it is a shimmer ink. So I think this would be a really good ink to combine with others to kind of lend it that shimmery quality because I think this would be a bit too light for me to ink up, honestly. So we do have Sea Europa here. This one isn't fully dry, but you can see that it has some nice shading, a really beautiful color. I really enjoy that color. And then Lady Rose and Brunch Date, they're all just like beautiful muted colors. Um, I remember Brunch Date being pretty dry. I don't remember if Sea Europa was and I think Lady Rose was as well, so that counts against them in my book, <laughs> but they are all just so stunning. I love, love, love these inks. So thank you for watching and I will be back soon with my third and final pink ink video.